Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be adding a VNC connection to an existing KVM virtual machine. We have two hosts here, two virtual machines, and we are going to edit them and add VNC. So we're going to reverse H edit host three, and we're going to go right on down to the bottom here. And within devices, we're going to place another tag here. So it has to be within the devices tag. We're going to add a graphics tag. Um, so add this graphics section here, just like what you see here. And um, there you go. So uh, check the link in the description if you want to be able to copy and paste something similar to that. I'm going to try to update my documents so you can copy and paste that. But um, yeah, VeraSage shut down, restart it, start it back up, and we should see, uh, we should, we, we're going to connect to it with VNC. So <clears throat> let's see, host is starting back up here. So we're going to go ahead and run VeraSage VNC display host three, and we can see uh, the port that it's running on. Now that's the last part of the port. So you see here when you run netstat, you can see 5,900. So basically the port that it gives you there should be 5,900 plus that value. So if it gave us like a one or a two, it would be like 5,901 or 5,902. Anyways, that, that, that's how that's specified. So uh, we're, we're going to open up our VNC client here and connect up. So I'm going to say not now this. And here is basically we have our console through VNC. So host three, we can log right in. And there we go. There's our working connection. We can check our IP address this way if we didn't know the IP for this machine. So for example, you know, 192.168.3.160. And we, we could even, so, you know, that, that would help us discover the IP if we can't find it through some other method. And so you could use, uh, you could use VNC to look up your IP address and then uh, SSH to the host if it is up on the network. And if it's not on the network, you could troubleshoot that and get the interface up. So there we are. Now we're also SSH'd into the host. And yep, so yeah, two connections to the same host, and that, that's basically what we wanted to show you. You can check the interface from the SSH connect, and basically the same thing here. And th this is mostly everything I wanted to cover for today. Um, here you can see, uh, okay, now I've cut away to another clip. This is uh, two, two hosts, two VMs running uh, VNC, so we see two different ports. 5900 and 5901 both have so host one and host two both have uh, VNC connections and uh, that's how you'd have multiple connections and that that's basically everything I wanted to show you for today so go ahead and hit that like button and you're, you're gonna want to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great content we have coming up we'll also have a lot of great content we've already put out so you're gonna want to go ahead ahead and look at that history of videos that we have and um, make sure you also hit the bell icon otherwise YouTube's not going to let you know when we do come out with a new video and again you're not, not going to want to miss some of the stuff we have coming up so yeah definitely subscribe hit the bell icon and more importantly leave a comment down below not just for me but for the next person who comes along and watches this video they'll see your comments and be that much more informed um, if you know something I don't know leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.